What's up guys, Saxon the Good Time Gaming. Tim coming at you guys with a very quick little video. Um, there is a nice little spring break 10 day community event currently going on with Payday 2. It is called the Search for Kento and apparently we're finally getting some sort of a possible plot line slash resolution to the whole backstory with Jiro. So for those of you guys that maybe haven't been around, um, basically Jiro joined the Payday crew originally because he wanted to um, find his son is basically what it comes down to, uh, Kento. And it's kind of funny that they're doing this. I'm not saying it's because of me at all. I'm not saying that at all, okay? Um, but I said in my um, Payday 3, like what I wanted to see in Payday 3 video was that I wanted to see Jiro die, one, and then two, maybe have some sort of a plot line slash resolution with his son. Kento. I didn't call him Kento at the time because I honestly didn't know what his name was. I didn't bother to look it up. But um, I was just curious to find, uh, to see something happen with that. If we go on the website and we look at what we're getting here, it actually has a little bit of a uh, roadmap as to what we're picking up. So today we have what's called a Paper Heisters, which is kind of, um, kind, of kind of weird, like a little paper gang. So you can apparently print these things out and make like your own little paper craft um, heisters. Uh, I'll be honest, it's kind of, I mean, it's kind of cool, I guess, question mark, um, but yeah, I don't know if I'd really even do any of this at all. Um, I don't know, I might try and get a friend to help me with this and like see if I can't do some of these over the weekend and then uh, post my horribly, terribly um, mangled little paper craft heisters <laughs> sometime in the next week or two. So um, I don't know, we'll, we'll see. I mean, they all look really cool. But, you know, these things always really look cool, like, in the picture, and then, like, you try and make it in real life, and it's, like, some horribly janky, messed up looking thing. So, I don't know. We'll see. Um, it'd be really cool if I could actually make these, or I might see maybe um, someone I know can do them. I know a few people are kind of crafty. Let's take a very quick look at what we're going to be getting over the next 10 days. So, on tomorrow, which is day two, we're going to be getting a new heist. Uh, day three is more paper gang characters. I'm guessing maybe another four characters or so. Day four is a new mode, safe and visuals. So... That would be like, I guess, our Kento safe or whatever. And then a new difficulty mode, perhaps. Um, probably not difficulty, now that I think about it, because one down is kind of already um, difficult enough, I guess. I would guess maybe something with um, like a horde mode, or maybe some sort of like an Iron Man type thing, or I don't know, something like that to that effect. Uh, we'll see, though. And then, of course, we're going to some new visual, so maybe some new um, overhaul to the engine or something like that. I don't know, we'll see. And then day five, we're getting Paper Gang again. Day six looks like it's an update to the AI. Uh, some cosmetics, something or another. Uh, a safe, so two safes. And then new masks. Day seven is Paper Gang. Again, so probably four more of them, I imagine. Uh, day eight is going to be weapons, throwable, and mods. So that would be kind of interesting. I'm always interested to see what kind of mods we get. Especially if they're ones that can uh, be used on multiple guns. It kind of like changes the metagame, kind of adds new things. Day nine is Paper Gang, so I guess the final few heisters and then day 10 will be a new heist and masks so a lot of stuff to look forward to uh, two new heists a new mode two new safes uh, visuals ai cosmetics some weapons with an s so plural so hopefully there's a few good things in there a throwable and some mods so overall pretty cool um paper gang takes up four days worth of stuff so that's kind of kind of crappy but kind of cool in a way like I don't know, I mean, I think they're really neat looking, but it'd be kind of a pain in the ass to try and actually do all of them. But I think I'm gonna at least attempt it, maybe go to Staples and get print out a nice paper or something, whatever, they've all been released. Um, and then give it a shot and see what happens. So, let me know what you guys are hoping for, let me know what you guys are thinking might be the resolution here with Kento. Like I've said before, I'm kind of hoping that maybe Jiro will die or something like that, and then maybe Kento will be a part of Payday 3. Um, I don't know, we'll have to kind of see what happens. So I'm interested to see. Hopefully he's not like a bad guy, because that's going to be kind of like um, anticlimactic maybe. If he's, if Kento ends up being like a bad guy. Like he's like a boss on day 10 or something like that. So I'm hoping that he joins the crew or something like that. But we'll see what happens, guys. Stay tuned, and we will go through this together. This is Axiom of Good Time Gaming. Please don't like, subscribe, and share if you like anything you saw today. And remember to always have a good time gaming.